Bamid Bar Numbers 24. And when Balaam saw that it pleased Yahuwah to bless at Yasharael, he went not, as at other times, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up at his eyes and saw, rather, and he saw at Yashara'el abiding in his tents, according to their tribes. And the Ruach Elohim came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said, he has said, which he which heard the words of El, which saw the vision of El Shaddai falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are your tents, O Yaakov, and your tabernacles, O Yashara El. As the valleys are, they spread forth as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of Ling aloes which Yahuwah has planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. El brought him forth out of Mitzrayim. He has, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. Rather, with his arrows, he couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blesses you, and cursed is he that curses you. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote at his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee to your place. I thought to promote you unto great honor, but lo, Yahuwah has kept you back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spoke I not also to you messengers which you sent unto me, saying, if Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond at the commandment of Yahuwah to do either good or bad of my own mind. But what Yahuwah says, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come, therefore, I will advertise what this people shall do to your people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said, he has said, which heard the words of El, and knew the knowledge of El Elyon, which saw the vision of El Shaddai, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Yaakov, and a scepter shall rise out of Yashara'el, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Yashara'el shall do valiantly. Out of Yaakov shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remains of the city. And when he looked on at Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on at the Kenim and took up his parable and said, Strong is your dwelling place, and you put your nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kani shall be wasted until Ashur 
shall carry you away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Alas, who shall live when El does this? And ships, ships rather, and ships shall come from the coast of Kittim, and shall afflict Ashur, and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. And Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place. And Balak also went his way.